Hey guys, it's Lauren here, popping in today to share with you a layout I've created as part of the Hip Kit Club design team. And I'm here with a sketch challenge for you today. Now, if you just quickly saw the sketch in my intro there, you'll see that it has lots of hearts on it and things like that. Well, if you're after hearts, this is definitely not the layout. I really wanted to sort of push myself with this sketch and think a little bit outside the box. I feel for me, a sketch challenge is to just inspire you to get going. And if sometimes, if you have a bit of a format there uh, with the design of a sketch, it's just enough to get those creative juices flowing and you're ready to roll. So we're working with the beautiful, beautiful October kits and no, sorry, September kits because I'm in Australia and it takes a long time for my kits to get here. So sorry about that. I'm working with the beautiful September hit kits and uh, they are filled with beautiful Dear Lizzie, um, uh, Paige Evans, the Truly Grateful Collection, uh, some pretty little studio. It is, it's just a lovely kit and it's full of beautiful florals and things like that. Though that as you can see, is a beautiful pile of fussy cut flowers from that Dear Lizzie paper. And um, I did that fussy cutting off screen. I actually wasn't intending on videoing this layout because it was really late at night when I sat down to create it. And sometimes when I put my lights on, it really, like, it really wipes out the the videoing but for some reason it seemed to work out okay so I, I was really happy that I just pressed play on that video record and and here we have a process video of my latest layout. So I did some fussy cutting and I had some thinking in mind around what I wanted to do with this layout. I really loved that pattern paper with those large flowers. It had that soft blue background um, and when I was fussy cutting that out I really thought I really want some blue in in here it just it seemed to match so well the blue the green and the orange so I thought I will get some white oh sorry light blue acrylic paint and as you can see I've just done some really bold strips there and I've just added some flicks using um, just a thin paintbrush just to give it a little bit of texture. Now the one tip with those flicks is I didn't water down my acrylic paint so when I was flicking it with my paint paintbrush it didn't form like it didn't drop as well as it would normally if I had mixed a little bit of water into that acrylic paint. So there's my tip for this video. If you're wanting to use acrylic paint for some splatters instead of sprays and things like that, then get a little mixer bottle and do the 50% water, 50% acrylic paint. It thins it out and it allows those splatters to be really, really cute and more droplety than just sort of flicks of thick color, which don't drop as well. So I was, when I was doing those flicks, I was trying to, I was just being lazy really, and I was just dipping it into my paintbrush water um, to try and get that moving a bit, but it didn't really work. But I wasn't too worried about it because those, flicks although they are not uh, my usual kind uh, if, if you can actually have a usual kind of flick <laughs> um, they looked fine in the end and when I start building this layout and putting these flowers around and putting on my really big title it all just seems to come together so I've got these gorgeous three little photos here and this was just a moment we had at a family gathering where were the all the cousins and the aunties and that we all sat around and had a really fun game of you know and I just managed to capture some candid moments there of um my sister and my son and her daughter, my niece Grace, and it, it it was just lovely. And I really, I really seem to love those candid shots as opposed to really pose shots. Um, I think sometimes they're more magical, and they almost tend to pull you back into that moment a little easier. So here I am. I've just got that little cluster there, and as you saw, I put foam. I I triplicate uh, mounted them just with thin borders and then sort of ruffled up the edges and 
adhered them together using foam tapes because I wanted them to create some dimension from those flowers. So, and then as you can see, I've just used some wet glue and just slotted that flower cluster around the outside of the photos. And as you can see, just looking at those leaves and things, it sort of really bordered that uh, um, bordered that photo cluster and sort of made it the feature of the layout. So now I get to go on to the fun part of embellishment, about embellishing and thinking about my title. This is when you have these beautiful hip kits, um, embellishing tends to not ever be a problem because there is so many beautiful goodies in these packs. I, if you've not heard of the Hip Kit Club, it is a... A subscription scrapbooking kit club. Now you can subscribe and get your kits monthly or you can buy one-off kits. If you subscribe it's a little cheaper and then you get a beautiful package delivered to your door and you've not even had to think about it um, or you can buy an individual kit when one sort of jumps out at you. You pay a little bit more but um, if you're feeling a little bit worried about that subscription kind of service that might that might be your alternative there. The other thing is we get some great add-on kits each month. You can add on a project or a pocket life kit, a colour kit, you can add extra cardstock and you can also add on another embellishment kit and all these uh, kits uh, just coordinate so beautifully um, and as you can see I've just got all my kits well you can't see but all my kits sit in a tray beside me and I just grab out all the bits and pieces that I know will work and coordinate well. So here, back onto the layout, I'm just placing out my embellishments and I those absolutely delightful little buttons by Dear Lizzie. I really wanted to incorporate some of those. So I centered a couple of flowers with the black and white ones and then I was determined to use that absolutely adorable little light green one there and some really cute little enamel, enamel shapes which are also from the... Dear Lizzie collection. Now that collection is called, let me just pick something up here. Hmm, that collection is called, hang on, I'm reaching into my box which is beside my desk like I just said. It's called She's Magic and it's beautiful and soft and full of pastels. So it's perfect for those um, little ladies in your life but it's also got some punchy colours like these orange and greens and blues there that I'm pretty sure you could uh, scrapbook a moment of those boys in your life as well which I think my next layout I'm going to challenge myself to use these kits for a, a boy layout because I always want to show you that even if you're feeling a kit is really really girly there's always a way to make a layout for our special boys in our life. Here I am. I was determined to stick that little enamel. enamel ugh, do you know I'm getting tongue tied today? Um, enamel heart there. Um, I just really love them, and I and I want to get in the mindset of really using up my kits and not hoarding those precious little things. And what I found is those my layouts are are really coming together with little bits of gold, um, a gold on them. So here I am. I'm just having a little bit of a think about a title. On the sketch, the title was really large, so I wanted to make sure that I was sort of keeping in, you know, the theme of the sketch. And I, my original title, I thought it was going to be say, "Let's play," as in we're about to take on the Uno challenge, and you know, let's 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 play, let's have some fun. And and then I thought, no, on that sketch challenge, that title was really a big feature. So I thought I'm going to come up with a different idea. And then so what? I just ended up with is adore this moment. So moment is my big punchy word that's on its way now. And then I use some of those beautiful, truly grateful um, sort of little epoxy words there. And I managed to find adore this. I, I thought it couldn't be more perfect. And I was so glad this is not often a word that you find in those sticker sheets but I'm really glad Paige thought of that one to pop in there because it was perfect for this layout and it was obviously meant to be. So adore this moment which is what I really do. Sometimes finding those everyday little moments to capture, I think in the busyness of our life we tend to ignore them or well, not ignore them but we delight in them in the moment but we don't tend to capture them and I really want... I really want to get into be 
a bit more mindful of capturing the those little moments more so than um, the family holiday where or you know like or everything's important to capture don't get me wrong but just those everyday moments laying on the lounge room floor watching tv having a cuddle um with the puppy dog um even even if it's just everyday tasks like making a cake or hanging out the washing just looking for ways to capture the everyday little moments of life and just documenting your thoughts and feelings around that i think just having the eye being mindful of it and then having the eye to see the photo moment is the trick and i think it takes a little bit of practice but if you are if that's a focus for you and that's something that you want to capture more candid photos um just just try and put in the forefront of your mind and all of a sudden those moments will start to show themselves to you if if that makes sense um we were I like I had a deck of, I had a hand of you know cards in this game and I was I was in it but when I saw everyone just laughing and delighting and these real moments I just grabbed my my phone and went snap 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 and there I caught this moment and I get to document it and I get to delight in it and those laughs are real laughs they're not posed laughs um, they're genuine and I think that that that's magic and that's worth creating a page on page for so here I am just finishing off I really hope you like my layout and I hope you like how I've put this one together I'm just adding some journaling here if you're new to my channel welcome I uh, hope you like my scrapbooking style and if you do I'd love you to become a subscriber if you have really enjoyed this process video, can you give it a like and maybe share it um, with your friends or on your social media? That would really help my channel grow. And um, yeah, and keep scrapbooking. Look for those little moments in life. And most importantly, take care. All right. Bye.